YouTube. So for a little while now, I guess it's been quite a while, I've been getting a number of people asking me to do a review of the uh, 300 XCW, KTM 300 XCW. You know, KTM makes a super solid bike and these, uh, this is no exception. One of the nice things about the KTM lineup is they've got the perfect bike for just about everybody and for many people, this is going to be it's going to be the perfect bike. It's going to be it's going to be hard hard to get any better than this. Um, but KTM rules the off-road world, and there's a reason. They put a lot of awesome stuff in their bike. There's a lot of good tech in these bikes, and uh, set up straight from the factory, you can race it. Um, set up straight from the factory, you can go out and and uh, just have a ball. Get your sag adjusted. Um, get the right jets for your altitude, and uh, you know the right needle, right needle position and uh, you will be ready to have a good time. I mix mine uh, as far as gas. I mix this thing 50 to one, just like uh, the book says. Um, I am just using Motor X. I, it said that on the side when I got it and I was just very unimaginative, unimaginative and kept with that. So it's worked for me so far. So this is more of a, more of a long-term review. On this bike alone, I've got, um, I've got over 2,000 miles on it. Uh, just about 110 hours. Uh, this will be my, th it will be my third summer. I bought it, uh, I've been on it in two entire summers and now I'm going, starting into the spring of my, you know, third year of riding it. So this one that I'm riding here is the 2012 version and I have absolutely loved this. I have loved this more than any other thing that I've ever bought. Um, I've had some other machines in my life and uh, this one just fits me very, very well. This can do the fun stuff on the trails, it can do fast, it can do slow, does really, really good at technical stuff. Uh, it climbs like a beast. You cannot, you can't really stall this thing. I mean, you're, you're climbing gnarly, nasty, rocky hills and, and tight turns and all these things and you, you have a big hit, a big lip that you've got to hit and you're thinking there's no way I'm going to get, no way I'm going to get over that. You know, you're getting ready to fe feather the clutch and the front tire slams it and you just sort of tractor over it. And that is, that is exactly what the uh, 300 XCW is designed to do, to give you that low end grunt. I mean, it, it, uh, it grunts like a four stroke, but it revs like a two stroke. And what more, what more can you ask? I mean, it's pretty, pretty phenomenal. You know, another thing, I'm not a real big track guy. I, I'll be completely honest. I don't spend a lot of time on the track, but a bike like this, you can, you can tighten up your suspension a little bit and you can still have fun at the track. I mean, these things, if you've seen any of the videos out there um, with guys with a lot more skill than me, this is a bike that you, you can take, the, take to the track um, one day and then the next day you can be out on tight single track and then the next day you can be out racing in the desert and this thing will keep up with just about anybody. Obviously, with the W, uh, for those of you that don't know, the W stands for the wide ratio transmission. So that gives you a couple of things. First thing that you'll notice is it gives you a very, very low first gear. So first gear is like your granny gear. And that helps you get up technically, you know, helps you get through really tight technical things, loose, rocky, gnarly terrain. That first gear helps you a ton. Then after you get past first gear, it starts to, it starts to widen out. On a motocross bike, a typical, you know, supercross motocross style bike, your first gear is taller than the gear on this bike. So, you know, that's gonna help you out if you're on a track. Plus, those types of bikes have a close ratio of transmission where the gears are close to, closer together. On this bike, they're a little bit further apart. So on your typical Supercross bike, if we're talking KTMs, your, your gear ratios between each gear is gonna be, it's uh, like 15%, 15% higher. On a bike like this, it's gonna be 21% higher from gear to gear. So it's, it's, it's quite a bit wider. So what does that mean? That means uh, you don't have to shift quite as much on a bike like this, albeit there are, you know, there are six speeds. But it, the, when you're shifting between second and third, there's a bigger gap there, which means that you can stay in that gear longer, which helps when you're out on the trail. You know, if you're on the track, it's probably not the best thing. However, this bike will, will still hang. You, you'll still be able to, to do some things. For my style, where I like to do a lot of single track, I like to do a lot of mountain trails, I like to do a lot of those types of technical, technical things, the XCW is a fantastic fit. Fantastic. Let's talk about speed and let's talk about acceleration. So a lot of times people wonder like, is, uh, am I, if I get a 300, is it gonna be faster than, a, than the guy on the 250? I'm just speaking about KTMs right here for this, for this part. 
So I have a buddy that has a uh, has a 250SX, and that bike is dialed. I mean, he's got that thing uh, really, really dialed in. And uh, we've gone out riding, and we've done you know little drag races as we're going to and from different parts uh, out on dirt roads. And when we really get on it and romp, and you know we're starting out in you know maybe just kind of rolling on in second gear or something like that through you know through second, third, and fourth gear, he can pull away from me just a little bit. And when I say a little bit, I mean half to a three quarters of a bike length. He never does actually get out in front of me. He's he's just he's just kind of right there. He can accelerate just a little bit faster. That bike revs faster. Bike has just as much power. A 250 has just as much power as the 300s. It's just how the power is delivered. Once we get into fifth gear and sixth gear, then that's where this, this bike shines with that wide ratio transmission. That's where I start to pull away. So, is the 250SX faster? Yes, <laughs> but with an asterisk. It's faster on the acceleration, but not so much that it's just gonna blow the doors off. You get a good rider on this bike, he'll blow the doors off of, that, off of a mediocre or even just a semi-good rider you know, on, on the 250SX if we're talking just a drag race. Have another buddy that has the uh, 250XC, um, so without the W. And with that bike, when we've done acceleration, when we've done kind of our drag racing, there's not really any noticeable difference. He's not faster, I'm not faster, it just kind of depends who gets the better hookup. So as far as, as far as that goes, there's not a ton of difference as far as which has more power, which is going to get me there faster. The fact is, the 250 and the 300 have the same amount of horsepower, basically. Um, it's just how the power is delivered. Power on the 300 rolls on just a little bit slower, just a touch slower, that's due to the heavy flywheel that it has. The XCW is going to have a heavier flywheel than the XC, and the XC is going to have a slightly heavier flywheel than the, than the SX. Not to mention that the SX is going to have a different, a different ignition module with a different power curve, so the power is going to be delivered in a, in a more poppy, more, more on the edge way than it is going to be on an XCW. And that's a little bit more mellow power is exactly what you want when you're, when you're doing trail riding. Uh, and, and just even desert racing out there in the middle of the desert. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that, the, that this is a mellow bike in any way. This thing will tear, this thing will tear your arms off. It uh, doesn't matter what gear you're in, you get on the gas and it will literally pull your arms. You gotta be holding on or it'll, otherwise it'll buck you off the back. So, not tame at all, but uh, just a little bit toned down from where the Supercross bikes are, and that's by design. So naturally, people, you might ask, well, who is this bike for? Uh, this bike is for the guy that wants to do a little bit of everything. This bike is for the guy who wants to be able to hit the track occasionally and still be able to keep up with his buddies. This bike is for the guy who wants to be able to hit gnarly, gnarly technical single track. This is the guy that wants to go out and race in the desert. This is really the jack of all trades bike. Now, does, does a, a jack-of-all-trades bike exist? Yes, it's this bike. Does that mean it's perfect for everything? No, it's not perfect for everything. But that's kind of the beauty of it, is it's not so specialized with one thing that it can't do a bunch of things really, really well. This bike does some things phenomenal. It's going to be killer out on the trails. Um, and you're just, you're just gonna love it. I mean, if you're, already, if you're thinking about the XC, or you're thinking about the W, XC or the XCW, that's kind of your only, your only thing. You can't really see it up here from this view, but you've got a speedometer, awesome. Trip counter, awesome. Hour meter, freaking amazing, because now you can keep track of all your maintenance. How long it's been between oil changes, between air filters, between when did I change you know, that power valve. You can, you can track all that by the hour meter and the odometer, um, on your bike, so that's that's freaking amazing. Just one less thing that you don't have to put on. What about all your friends that are going to make fun of you because now you have an electric start? Hey, you're even going to have an electric uh, electric start two-stroke. You know what? Don't knock it till you try it. Electric start rocks. Uh, anytime that you stop on a hill or or heaven forbid, you know something happens, it is pretty stinking amazing to be able to just hit that button and go again. Is there any wonder why even motocross guys do it now? because it makes you faster in the event that you do have a problem. You don't have to sit there and kick it. You can just hit the button to go. And the interesting thing is, if you're on one of these two strokes, 
even though you've got electric start, which has maybe eight pounds or something like that, you're still gonna be lighter than all your four-stroke buddies because you're on a two-stroke. It's a simpler motor. You're on a motor that fires twice as much as a four-stroke, literally twice as much, puts out more power per cubic centimeter, per cubic inch, per cubic yard, whatever you want to call it, and uh, yeah, so what? You've got electric start, which means it's going to be easy for you to start your bike in all situations. Don't knock until you try it. Electric start is awesome. Who is this bike for? Let me tell you something. This bike is for you. If you've watched this video this far, um, you are going to enjoy this bike. You're going to love this bike. If you're kind of on the fence about what should I do, I, I, need, to, I need to decide between the XC or the XCW, I say, you know what? Try the W. It's going to be, it's going to be, a lot of you guys are maybe coming over from a motocross bike. You've been using like your, your YZ or your CR or, or your KX, you know, you're probably coming from four strokes and, uh, in, and you've been, maybe first gear has been just a little bit too tall for you as you're, as you're climbing up hills or things like that. You are going to love this bike. Let me tell you something. When I, when I switched over from, from my Yamaha four stroke, my 450 four stroke, uh, to this bike, one of the things that I instantly realized is I didn't stall it. You know, when I'm when I'm going up hills and I'm doing those types of things, every you know I would I'd end up stalling my uh, my 450. This thing, I wasn't stalling it. You know, when it's a two stroke, you think, hey, you're going to stall the two stroke because there's there's no low end. There's more low end in this bike than there is in a 450. Your motocross bike. This thing will outgrunt your motocross bike any day. So some people ask, uh, what kind of maintenance is involved on on a two stroke like this? Uh, there's not a whole lot of maintenance. You, you, put, you put gas in it, you uh, change your oil every, I don't know, 20, 25 hours, your gear oil. Um, obviously lube your chain, keep skins on the tires, and you know, that's just about it. I, on this bike, this is probably more of a long-term review, to be completely honest, because I have, um, I have over 2,000 miles on this bike. Uh, this will be my third, I'm going into my third summer on it. Um, it's got over, it's got about 110 hours on it. You know, some people will redo their pistons before now. You know, some people are crazy and they do their, you know, do a top end on their, on their two stroke every 50 hours. Some people will go 200 hours. This one, I've got 110 hours on it and it's still grow, going amazingly strong. I can't tell any different, any difference now than when I first got it. So I'm going to keep riding this thing and go 150 on it and uh, just see, just see what happens. I've absolutely loved it. There's not a lot of work on these things. They're a ton of fun to ride, tons of power, and uh, you're, you're, you really can't go wrong, and I think you'll really, really enjoy a 300 XCW. So, what have I missed? Probably a ton of things, probably just about everything. All the questions that you had, I haven't answered any of them, have I? Uh, no, I've answered some. This bike is fast, it's crazy fast. It will pull your arms off in, just about, in, in any gear, honestly. Um, it'll wheelie through sixth gear. You can be going down, a, going down a trail or going down a road in fourth gear, fifth gear. You hit the power. If you if you get hooked up, that that wheel is going to come right up into your into your face. There's tons of power, plenty of power. Uh, it's super fast. It's super fun. It's super amazing. Um, couldn't couldn't be happier with the XCW. These things are amazing. If you're on the fence, just get off the fence, step right over, do the 300 XCW. You'll be glad you did. But uh, that's just about it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Uh, tell me if you got specific questions about this bike or other bikes, and maybe we can make another video and kind of address some of those. So until then, thanks.